Almost six years ago, UW-Madison was awarded a major Department of Energy grant to establish something called Great Lakes Bioenergy. Our mission is to produce knowledge to generate fuels from the non-edible part of plant, the so-called cellulosic biomass. Our discoveries will create the basic science underpinnings for making cellulosic biofuels economically viable and sustainable. We are not focusing on making one fuel from one crop by one method, but rather we are generating knowledge that can process, hopefully, an array of crops and produce fuels or chemicals for a variety of different engines or uses by society. The collaboration made possible by Great Lakes Bioenergy has brought together over 500 people now across several campuses. And over five years, it has produced over 400 papers, more than 60 patent applications, some 20 uh, licensing options. And this summer, two of those licenses were granted by the Wisconsin Alumni Research Foundation, WAF, for the first startup company that's come out of Great Lakes Bioenergy. I never imagined this level and type of discovery chain uh, that we've been able to achieve in the last five years, when we were writing the grant or when we were rolling out the center. Uh, so it's truly sobering to see what's going on. It's even more sobering, <coughs> excuse me, to find out that yesterday our productivity was rewarded when the Department of Energy announced a renewal of Great Lakes Bioenergy for another five years of funding. I think this makes this the single largest grant that the University of Wisconsin-Madison has ever had. Again, something I never considered doing when I came here over 25 years ago as, as a junior faculty member. I would submit that the funding of Great Lakes Bioenergy and the opening of this wonderful building that was supported by the state and the, and the UW Foundation are each important statements. At least the federal and state contribution illustrate bipartisan support for basic science and clean energy innovation that are going to be critical to move forward down this road as we create new energy technologies. I and others in the center view the exciting events of this week as a milepost in UW-Madison's legacy as an international leader in clean energy. When we were submitting the grant, I never doubted that UW-Madison had the brain power to compete successfully for one of these centers. But our successes today also illustrate another critically important point. Uh, it illustrates that this great institution, with gentle nudging from the provost, can actually assemble diverse sets of experts into teams and then that are needed to execute big science and then institutionally support those teams to allow them to do that in an academic environment at a level that I think a lot of other institutions would just fall flat on their face. We look forward to seeing the success of Great Lakes Bioenergy cloned in other areas of the energy space that are going to be in this building and catalyzed by the activities in Mike's Energy Institute. Collectively, we're all working towards the future where local Wisconsin energy is, support, is used to support day-to-day -day activities, as well as, as attending special events like Rose Bowl trips, Super Bowls, and World Series. I would submit that we have made remarkable success in the first five years in producing cellulosic biofuels. But completing this mission that everyone else has spoke about today and solving grant society's grand energy challenge requires much more work. We are committed to developing the collaborations and growing relationships with supporters of this great university to bring out these clean energy technologies and training for students. In this way, our discoveries can really be translated into real life solutions that benefit the people of the state in the world. I know this is no small task, but I'm a Yankee fan. Okay? I submit, however, that there is no better aspiration for the Wisconsin idea than ensuring that future generations have the clean energy needed 
to create a sustainable planet. Thank you all for your support and for your attention.